show everybody. Oh my goodness. I am watching Hamilton. It's so good. Everybody on this production is saying acting through the roof, the camera work. Amaze. Yo. It like it got so stirred up. I was like, wow. This is good, but I can always go back to that and watch it. Right now, I am here with you. Welcome to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. I'm your host, Carla Renee. Thanks for being here with me. You don't have to take time out of your schedule to do it, but you do. So thank you. Hey. <laughs> Welcome everybody. It has been a doozy of a week um, between me just going through not feeling well, but today, today was so much better. Um, as you see, I got out, got that COVID testing, which was pretty easy. Apparently I got lucky. Everybody was talking about the short Q-tips. Hey, treasure. Hey, everybody. <laughs> the short Q-tips for the nose that I got. Hey, Seth. Thank you. Um, and everybody else's was like that. Mine was a little shorty thing and you just, but yes, a self-administered COVID test on today. I got it. Yes, yes, yes. I don't care what the results is. I'm quarantining myself from henceforth. Henceforth, honey. Oh, but I'm so glad that I got a chance to do the show and be here with you today. So if you're just joining me, thank you. Remember, you can always watch other shows at my YouTube channel, that's Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Right now, you can share this video. My friends, your friends, let's, let's introduce them. Go ahead and share this video right now, okay? Go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to get started. So today uh, is a... I did a little farmer's market run and found some stuff. Um, I wanted to try some, some uncommon, unusual fruits or vegetables. So I ran up on a couple today, okay? Hold on. Um, so... Yeah, went to the farmer's market, and I love going to the farmer's market. You meet um, nice people there. Um, I met this gentleman. Uh, his name is Kelly, and he is the owner of kingoffoods.com. So, yeah, you got to go to his site, check it out. But um, I mentioned Kelly because I stopped at his stand. Well, he called me over to his stand, so way to go Kelly for that um because he was he's marketing his his business so he called me and he was like try these you know sauces I have these spices that I have hey Sonia so I was like okay sure so I did and he had some great rubs and stuff and I bought one and then he gave me another one but yeah good stuff Ooh, the seafood seasoning he says is Old Bay on steroids so and I'm not a fan of Old Bay, but that tastes so good on my finger. So I can't wait to see what it's like on a piece of fish. So let me show you what I got from the farmer's market, okay? okay. So when I go to the farmer's market, um, there are all sorts of vendors. You've got, um, you know, black farmers, white farmers, Asian farmers. And I like to stop by the Asian market and um, see what they have new. So I found this daikon radish. Now it's I chopped it off because I've I've got. I'm gonna show you the other half of it, but it is that two times. It, it and it's quite phallic in nature, so it looks yeah like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so daikon radish. Um, we're gonna slice this. I can show you how to do it on camera. And I also picked up, this is a squash. This is called a uh, chayote, chayote squash. So we're gonna cut into this and see what this is like. I think 
the chayote though is best the young lady at the market told me is best for stewing so maybe we'll stew it down one day i don't know and this what do you think this is or have you ever used this I've never used it, but I've seen it. Every time I go to the uh, Asian market, I see it. And it is called Bitter Melon. Bitter Melon. Yes, it looks like a really bumpy cucumber. But, <laughs> you know, I can see that. It's got the kernels, the little horns sticking up on it. This has already been washed and cleaned. This one, I had one earlier. I didn't get the radicchio from there, but uh, it's pretty bitter, but we're going to try all of that out. Mm. Oh, that's bitter. <laughs> oh, that's really bitter. Oh. I may have to boil this down. I, I ain't going to eat this if this is going to be this big. Uh, the daikon radish, which is twice this length. Okay, so you got daikon radish. And the way that you um, cut up this daikon radish, let me go ahead and get this started because we're going to try Kelly seasonings in a little bit from uh kingoffoods.com kingoffoods.com um and try his hunter's spices i can't wait i'm ready all right let me show you how to cut up this daikon so um daikon radish usually when people eat these they are pickled so i made a pickling liquid yesterday and I've got, so I'm just taking the outer skin off of this Tycon. And you can cut these into chips or you can julienne these. So what I did was julienne these. And I will show you what I did. Okay. All the outer skin is off. This is garbage. Okay, so you can cut them straight down like chips if you want, but I'm going to tell you what it tastes like raw, okay? This is, I'm going to cut a piece of it here. Okay, this is what it looks like when you slice it into chips. I know it's kind of, yeah, but see the little, so if you put it into a pickling liquid, it's very porous. It will pick up your pickle uh, lady thank you really <laughs> thank you okay so we're gonna taste this daikon radish okay hmm. it's kind of um Tastes like a peppery mushroom. It's got a mushroomy, kind of woodsy flavor with a little peppery note in it. Okay, not not uh, kind of spicy, almost like a piece of mustard green. But these things also have medicinal properties. So when you um you can like I said, cut them into chips. Or you can julienne these like I did in my pickling liquid. So I did the pickling liquid yesterday and all it is is salt, sugar, vinegar. I did a little red wine vinegar in this one too. So I've got a piece of radish that's been sitting and see these are all julienne strips. And I'm thinking I could like throw them on top of a sandwich or something like that. Maybe if I make like a shrimp sandwich or something mm. Mm. oh my 
that's only been in the pickling liquid for three hours. This is good. Oh my God. I just made pickled daikon. I love it. Daikon root. Okay, so um, I guess you could stew it down like a turnip also, like a turnip root. But um, you could probably slice them thin and have it on a salad if you want it raw. Or you can pickle them like I did in a nice sweet hot pickle juice. I made it's like pepper in here and salt, sugar, a little red wine and white vinegar. That is good. I'm, I'm going to enjoy that. Okay, so that's going to be my pickled daikon. I'm going to throw that on a Sammy one of these days. When I feel like eating. <laughs> Not right now. Okay, so pickled daikon ready to go. Another thing that I found at the farmer's market were these red bananas. Now, I asked the young lady if they, she said they are ready to eat. Okay, so these bananas are ready to eat. Um, I think they're supposed to be a little sweeter than your regular banana. They are a little bit shorter. Um, but just a nice little red banana. Let's, let's taste. It, it looks like a plantain banana. Oh, wow. It's really creamy inside. Very creamy. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. It's a nice. Your wife does too? Oh my gosh, Hun, it is a thing, Angel. Yes, this is a thing. This is so good. This and I'm not a big fan of banana. I will have it in a smoothie. Um, I'm not real big on banana pudding stuff like that. Now I don't mind eating a banana, but I ain't no huge fan. But this right here, I could even put these in the air fryer and maybe dry them into some chips. Mm. They are so creamy. That is good. Okay, that got that. <laughs> this tastes up my mouth, thank God. This is the um bitter bitter melon. It got its name honest that thing is so bitter but we got to cut into it we gotta we're trying different things right okay so let's try some some different stuff all right so i'm gonna bring you in a little bit more okay hey you <laughs> okay so we got the bitter melon and the way you cut this it where's my knife my big here you go Okay, so the way you cut this is just um, cut the ends off first. We can dispose of those later and then cut straight down the middle. And this is what it looks like on the inside. A whole rows of seeds. Look at that, two rows of seeds. And we're supposed to um, pit this, so... And let me get a small spoon for that. I um I love growing up. Um, my mom did not buy, uh, or my dad, you know, whoever whoever went shopping, um, they didn't buy a lot of snacks. As a matter of fact, they didn't buy any. <laughs> so like all the cool snacks kids were getting and stuff, and we're talking about at school. Like I had no idea. Um, mom used to leave like a, um, leave the fruit bowl out, especially in the summertime, 
that was our snack. If, if you wanted a piece of fruit, that was like candy. We'd run to that fruit bowl. So when you dice up your um, bitter, oops, bitter melon, you're supposed to dice it up like this and then put it like in salads and stuff. I cannot see anyone eating this in a salad. Let's taste this from the green green. Oh my God, that's too bitter. Mm, mm. Oh God, that tastes like green, green grass. Oh God. What are you supposed to do with that? I'm, I'm going to make some tea with it. I'm going to put it in some tea, okay? Oh, child. Okay, before I do that, we're going to, the last thing we're going to do now is try um kelly's sauces his um uh, not the sauces the the rubs so i got his seafood seasoning and i got his texas seasoning and again this is coming from kingoffoods.com right here in charlotte i met um this brother today at the farmer's market so you know what i was like black man Business doing his thing. Yep, yeah, hook me up. <laughs> hook me up. I was all about it. So y'all check him out. And he's on Instagram. He's my new Instagram friend now. <laughs> okay, y'all, that bitter melon is gross. It's probably very, very good for you. Because it's so nasty. I did not like it. That squash, I'm going to have to... Um, oh. So, I got this pan here to put my salmon in, but I'm going to cut it in a little bit. First thing I'm going to do, I want to finish up my... Um, my pickled daikon. So, to this pickled daikon, I have more um vinegar that I made vinegar salt your pickling liquid there you go now I'm gonna cut up some of this radicchio and put it in there so I don't need the whole thing but I want it kind of crunchy um for this pickle you can do carrots in it um, that carrots would really soak up that um, vinegar. It would taste so good. I'm doing this for um, like a sandwich someday. Maybe this maybe this weekend I'll make a what did I say the shrimp the shrimp sandwich, and we'll do a little pickled daikon and radicchio on it. Okay. So I got that. This is going back in the fridge. Uh, the pickling liquid should completely cover your whatever is in your pan, okay? That's mostly covered. Not completely. Mostly. Some of that vinegar evaporated as, as it cooked up. But no worries. We're going to seal this thing. Let it go for a couple more days. And you can actually... Um, It'll stay refrigerated nice and fresh. If you keep it in a nice cold refrigerator, it'll stay for about a week and a half, maybe two. All right, this pickling liquid. But don't don't go over that. All right. You still you don't want a soggy, nasty vinegar. All right. Okay. So we've got the um pickled daikon and purple lettuce. That's gonna marinate for a couple of days right now. Let's clean off this area and get ready to do some of Kelly's sauce. How you doing, babe? I hope you've been having a great week. Was it okay for you? Um, I got some very special happy birthdays out there. Um, my cousin Shalana, happy birthday, Shangalang. Yes. <laughs> Y'all be sure to go to Shalana um, Marcel Battle Isaac's page. Um, and, and check it out. Check out her paparazzi too, honey. Okay. Yes. 
and to my god sister Beverly happy birthday to you on yesterday so yes 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 salmon so I've already seasoned Damn. you know what I forgot that when I um when I season the salmon I put the seafood seasoning over the whole piece so I won't be able to try the the other one because I already got seafood seasoning on it now so no worries another day I'll will do a taste test of the um the Texas rub that he's got all righty let's get this nice and hot I'm gonna do a little bit of olive oil and a small pat of butter for the salmon okay Bloop. that's it that is it all right put that there I'm gonna I'll do all my cleaning up after <laughs> after y'all we finish the show Shalana head. I was trying to think of what Shalana um page was. I was like, I, how can I forget her her married name? Shalana been married to Michael for years, and they've been together about twenty something years. Shalana head. Okay, that's our baby girl Shalana from home. Okay, go there and check out her page. Get to sell some paparazzi. You don't want to um. Cook your salmon to death. I'm telling you, I can't. I can't stand it. People overcook the fish. Woo. There we go. A couple more minutes on that side, and it'll be done. Okay. Uh, Cause we want a nice flaky fish that just kind of flakes away when you're done. But if you're just joining me, hey. While you sitting on here, why don't you go ahead and share my channel right now with your friends, please? Yes, just go ahead and let them know we're eating good in the hood. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, and you are here with your host, Carla Renee. That's right, every Friday that I can be, I'm here at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, ready to cook with you and learn and taste some different things out here in the universe and just uh, I, don't, I can't stand one note one note everything gotta be able to you know just letting steam out now y'all this this is it this is it for tonight uh, yeah the website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com you can go there check out recipes and pictures and watch past videos that I've done that I always put on YouTube at sugar pearls s-u-g-a-r-p-e-a-r-l apostrophe s and Instagram at sugar pearls underscore on my make sure you check it out okay and share right now Please, go how about it yes she did hey <laughs> yes so this is what you want with your salmon see that see how that's flaking like that that's what Look, come on now. Come on. Do Lord. Do Lord remember me. Look at that. That's what your Sam is supposed to do. Go. Somebody offer you Sam and don't do that. Don't eat it. Hmm. Okay, hunters. Mmm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Oh my. And it's not salty. I could have added more of this and I still wouldn't have ruined it. I went really light on it. On that salmon. But if you get this. Do this. Did you even see how I did the salmon? I'm, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm off. Mm. Olive oil and butter in, in a pan. Cook it enough to get brown. Flip it. Add a little drop of water. Let it steam up. Cover it. Three minutes. Take it out. It's done. That's your salmon. Don't overdo it, baby. Don't overthink it. Being in the kitchen ought to be fun. And if it's not, that's not your thing. That's okay. It ain't fun for everybody. <laughs> it's just not. For some people, it is an absolute chore. But, oh, thank you, Marty. I hope, baby, one of these days, if I do get a restaurant, you're going to have a standing table all the time. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching my Farmer's Market haul on today i always appreciate you being here because i realize that you could be anywhere else yet you choose to spend friday nights at seven o'clock with me so thank you for taking this time i love you for watching don't forget to share and i'll see you right here next week know that i love you and i hope you love me back bye